Hello, and thank you for tuning in. I truly appreciate your support. So if you find this video helpful, please like and subscribe to stay updated with future content. If you have any questions or if you or if there's a specific topic you'd like me to explore in more depth or even a subject I haven't covered yet, feel free to drop a comment below. I always welcome your feedback and suggestions. In today's video, I'll be walking you through the setup and integration of PHP IPAM with PowerDNS. To make this process easier, I've developed two scripts, one to set up a sample PowerDNS server and another to set up PHP IPAM. I'll guide you step by step on how to configure both, highlight the key settings that need to be adjusted, and explain the essential permissions and configurations required for them to work seamlessly together. By the end of this video, you'll have a clear understanding of how to integrate these two systems and ensure they are functioning correctly. So let's get started. Now, I've already pushed my script into this particular server, the Power DNS server. As you can see, it installs Power DNS with MariaDB. It secures and configures the MySQL database, sets up Power DNS for the MySQL backend, configures the Power DNS API web interface, opens required firewall ports for DNS, and adjusts, and importantly, adjusts the SE Linux for compatibility. As we go through, I have created some default passwords um, and whatnot. And down here, there are the SE Linux and firewall adjustments for, that have been or will be performed. Um, so in light of that, let's go and exit and let's get this installed. Okay. Let's paste that, and as you can see, this should take about two to three minutes. Um, I'm going to pause the video so that you can, um, you don't have to sit here and be bored. Actually, while that installs, this is our PHP IPAM server, and I've already installed the PHP IPAM, but I'll go through the uh, config. Basically, this script automates the installation and configuration of PHP IPAM to work with a separate powered DNS server. And as you can see, it, is, it goes through, sets up Apache, Maria, and then it modifies the SE Linux settings. By the way, all these are on my GitHub site. Um, and in here, you can see the passwords I use, what firewall ports, and then more importantly, what SE Linux um, items have been modified to allow the remote connection to the MariaDB on the um, PowerDNS server, um, and so on and so forth. So let's go over here. And I haven't configured the PHP IPAM server yet. So, okay, this looks like it completed. It did. I don't see any errors. So, let's see. Now that's 124. Yep, I'm on the right server. So, it's a new installation. I don't automate anything with this um, other than this initial setup. And. So I'll go through this and get the server up and running. Uh, and as you can see, this is more or less, or it is um, a plain Jane PHP IPAM server. Now, okay, so the first thing we need to do is enable um, a few things. And the first thing is uh, we want to enable Power DNS, and that's here in the admin panel, right? And this isn't necessary, but it bugs me when I see it red. Uh, and there's Power DNS. 
Now, my server for PowerDNS is 1.34. So when you click the PowerDNS, it goes default here. You can see that the settings are um, you know, wrong. It's not allowing me to log in. And that's because in the script I created um, you know, my own user IDs and passwords. So I have to change because the server is separate from my server here. I have to put in the IP address as well as the database name, the database username, and then in the script you'll see it's a big, long, strong password. Now, this is what was allowed through the firewall and what is SE Linux enabled, I believe, for the database. Uh, we can look at that later. Now, if I hit save and we did it right, we should be good. And we are. As you can see, we've now got our PHP IPAM is now connected to PowerDNS. And we can validate that because it says here, database connection, OK. And oh, by the way, I forgot to say, you want to turn this on so that the information is auto serialized. Well, I hope this video made integrating PowerDNS a little easier and more understandable. If you found it helpful, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, if you enjoyed the content, please like and subscribe to support the channel. Also, feel free to drop a comment below. Let me know what you found useful or if there's something else you'd like me to cover in future videos. Thanks again and have a fantastic day. Bye.